very interesting topic in science. Uh, but before that, I will ask you a few questions. Okay? Uh, have you ever played a game in which uh, we close all the lights of the room? No, ma'am. No. So what it is? 
Observe the following objects and mark them as luminous or so, non luminous. Here there is an exercise for you. Okay, Shan. What is the object shown? Sun. So, is it this good? Luminous. That's right. The sun is a luminous object as it gives out its own light. Object, 
as it gives out its own light. That's right, a shooting star is a luminous object. It glows while falling towards Earth. So what is this? And a shooting star. star. Shooting star. And it gives a star as well as shooting star. Both are luminous objects. <coughs> Why you are able to see my 
face such objects which allow light to pass through them light is passing through them they are known as transparent objects they are known as transparent objects now if i keep this then you will be able to see that not very clearly but you can see you can see the book yes ma'am but is it so clear no ma'am now with this yes yes it is very clear yes but with this paper it is not so clear why because this paper is not allowing light to pass through it okay this paper is not allowing the light to pass through it not allowing it is allowing some light to pass through it that is why we are able to see the object blur this object allows light to pass completely through it goes completely but this object this paper allows only some amount of light to pass through it which paper is this butter paper butter paper, butter paper. this is a butter, butter paper. paper so there are some objects which allow light to pass through them like this is a cellophane then glass they also allow light to pass through them and what is around us air air so air is also transparent it also allows light to pass through it and reach our eyes okay that is why we are able to see each other and this butter paper is allowing only some amount of light to pass through it and what about this book where this and it does not allow it does not allow light to pass through it that is why when i keep the paper like this i am not able to see you why because the light is not coming to my eyes okay the light is falling on your face but it is not coming to my eyes that is why i am not able to see how i am able to see your face because light is falling on your face and then it is reaching to my eyes but when i keep this book in front the light is falling on your face but it is not reaching to my face it is not passing through this book so such objects they are known as opaque objects so let us see this video transparent translucent and opaque materials When you look through a clear window, you can see objects on the other side, which you cannot see through a wall surrounding the window. The glass in the window is what we refer to as transparent material. So this window, there is a glass. Okay, the light can pass through this glass and it can reach our eyes. That is why we are able to see the objects which are outside the window. But near the glass only there is a wall. the wall is not allowing the light to come to our eyes it is not allowing the light to pass through it and that is why we are not able to see the objects on the outside so glass is transparent and this opaque opaque well transparent materials are clear and allow light to pass directly through them If we focus a red light on a transparent drinking glass, the light coming out from the other side will also be red. Similarly, if we use the green light, green light will emerge from the other side. Air and water are also transparent. Frosted glass, tracing paper, and tissue paper are not as clear as the glass. When light strikes tracing paper, Only some of the light will pass through. Once so this is a tracing paper, they are putting light on the tracing paper, and it is allowing only some amount of light to pass through it. The whole light is not passing. And some will be scattered. This material is translucent. If we are able to look through translucent material, such as colored or etched glass, objects on the other side will appear fuzzy. Wood, stone, and metal are all materials we would describe as opaque, meaning they prevent any passage of light. Summary: Transparent.
transparent materials allow light to pass completely through. Translucent materials allow for the partial passage of light. Opaque materials do not allow any light to pass through. So what is the summary? So this is our whiteboard. Uh, you have seen the video. So spellings I will ask you. Okay. Spelling of transparent. Which color you want to choose? You did get them all 
but please try again. So if you click all the three transparent objects, then it will go. Otherwise, it will not go to the next level. Clear? So this was about our transparent, translucent and opaque objects. So what we have studied today? We have studied about transparent, translucent and opaque objects. Now transparent materials, they allow light to pass directly through them. And translucent objects allow some light, some light to pass through them. And opaque objects, they do not allow any light to pass through them. Okay, so because they do not allow any light to pass through them, that is why if we keep it in the middle of any source of light, suppose tube light is here, tube light is the source of light, we are getting light from it. And if I keep any opaque object in the path of light, then that light will not pass through it and it will form a shadow. Okay, so opaque objects, they form a dark shadow. And translucent objects, they make blurred or fuzzy shadow because they allow only some light to pass through them. And transparent objects, the shadow will not appear at all. It will be clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then they are air, water, glass. Transparent objects, <coughs> air, water, glass. As I told, air is transparent. <laughs> water, we can see through the water. So water is also transparent. <laughs> glass is also <laughs> transparent. <laughs> but there are some glasses like frosted glass. <coughs> which allow only some light to pass through them. So they are translucent objects. Now here it is given frosted glass, tracing paper and some types of tissue papers. They are translucent objects. And opaque materials like wood, stone and metal, they do not allow light to pass through them. So they are <coughs> opaque objects. Okay. So this we have studied. And what we have studied about luminous and non-luminous? Anyone? Raise hand. Okay. You tell what are luminous objects? And luminous objects give out their own light. Okay. They give out their own light. So tell me that here this object glass is allowing light to pass through it. So is glass a luminous object? Glass luminous object? No, no. no. It is allowing light to pass through it, but it is not having its own oh, light. light. So children often get confused about transparent and luminous. All objects which are transparent may not be luminous and objects which are luminous may not be transparent. Clear? Like fire. And fire is luminous. Is luminous. Okay. Water. Is it? Non -luminous. It is non-luminous. Okay. It is transparent, but it is non-luminous. This glass of the window will allow sunlight to come inside. But it itself is not luminous. Okay? So understood everyone? Yes. So this is our topic for the today. And the next part, how light travels, that we will study next week. Next when we will have turn, we will study how light travels in a straight line. That will be our next topic. Okay.